What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Brian back with another video. And uh, as you can see from the topic, uh, the title, uh, I quit my job, my government state job after 12 years of working there. Um, I work for the state of South Carolina. Um, I work for the school bus shop in South Carolina. And yeah, it was a long journey, a long ride. Um, you know, I had some good, some bad, some ups and downs. But, you know, eventually it was time for me to go. And uh, like I said, before I continue this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Um, I haven't been making videos that often. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, do better. I'm trying to, you know, increase my video uh, that I put out. You know, hopefully I can get one a week, you know, maybe tw two a week. Um, but like I said, if you like it, you know, like, subscribe, you know, you got anything you want to say, comment down below. But uh yeah, let's jump right into it. Yeah, like I said, um, uh, I'm 36 years old. Uh, I'll be 37 next month, and well, actually this month in December, December 28th. Uh, for all my Capricorns out there, what's up? Uh, but anyway, yeah, um, I I watch a lot of videos. I I watch a lot of YouTube. I I like I you know look at a lot of y'all channels, and I like a lot of y'all channels, and I subscribe to some of y'all, and you know I look at a lot of people saying they quit their jobs to be an entrepreneur, to start their own business, you know, to, and because they hate their job, because they want a different career path. And, you know, I look at all that stuff and, you know, I used to, I used to watch that stuff at work. You know, I used to, you know, read blogs and on, on my computer because I worked in the office. You know, I basically was a parts clerk. I ordered, you know, parts for the school buses. We had the maintenance in our county, in our district or whatever. But, um, you know, and I, you know, pay invoices and stuff like that. Just a basically nine to five office job, you know, it wasn't nothing special, but yeah, I kept up with inventory and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I mean, I was young when I started that job, man. I was like 25 years old, you know, it was a state job, state of South Carolina. And I, you know, when I first got that job, I was excited. I like, I got a career, you know, I got somewhere I can retire, you know, so I can get a check for the rest of my life. I got benefits. And that's all I was thinking about. And my wife, she was proud of me. My family was proud of me. And, you know, I just wanted to do it because, you know, it was the right thing to do. I guess everybody was working a, a job that they can actually call their career and, you know, uh, and I was excited, man. You know, like, yeah, one day, and it was 28 years. I had to, you know, work 20 years, not going to retire. But, you know, um, you know, life happens, things happen. You know, sometimes you just get tired up of the monotonous, tired of the monotonous, tired of the same old, same old, the same old grind. You know, I had to be at work. I had to be at work at 630. It wasn't actually 9 to 5. I had to be at work at 630 to 330. But uh, it was just, you know, after a while, it just took its toll, you know, and, you know, some of the people that was hiring, some of the people that held supervisor positions, you know, that was incompetent. They really didn't know their job. And a lot of other things, you know, they did things that, you know, they said that wasn't right or that, uh, you know, we couldn't do or, you know, they kind of bent the rules for themselves, for their own game, personal game, whatever. And, you know, it wasn't no, it wasn't no team atmosphere team environment there people work for themselves pretty much they looked out for themselves and you know uh you know but i i i kept on going you know what i'm saying i i worked i worked year after year after year and i said things would get better you know i try to you know look at it different ways and say you know what this is my life you know i got to take care of my family i got bills to pay but you know it just got to the point where it was mentally fatiguing me, you know what I'm saying? And I was just mentally drained, mentally tired. You know, um, I didn't have a backup plan. I didn't have a way out. You know, I'm not an entrepreneur. I, I, have, I never thought about, you know, starting a business or anything like that. So, you know, you know, fast forward, you know, I was there. I hit my 10-year mark and... You know, it's one of them things where I'm like, well, I done made it 10 years, you know, so I need to just keep going, I guess. But uh, I started doing DoorDash, you know, and uh, I know a lot of y'all do DoorDash. A lot of y'all do other gig apps, uh, you know, Uber, Lyft, uh, Postmates, whatever you do, you know. Um, I started doing that. And, uh, and, and, and at the same time, I had other part-time jobs while I was working that job. You know, I worked at different places, too. But uh, I started doing DoorDash after about my 10-year mark and... Um, and I liked it, man. You know, I you know I dash and I, I made my own schedule, and 
I said, and I was making good money. I said, well, man, I mean, I know my wife would kill me if I quit my job for DoorDash, but I really wouldn't be quitting for DoorDash. I'd be just quitting because I don't want to be there no more. But, you know, I mean, my boss and my coworkers, you know, it was just the, the, the relationship was just getting, you know, toxic. And, you know, it was just one of the things where, you know, I... I just had enough, but I didn't, I didn't, I haven't, I ain't have a no, I ain't have a way out, man. I just, you know, thinking about how can I get out this place, man? How can I leave this job and still be able to take care of my family, man? Cause like I said, I'm not a business person. I'm not an entrepreneur like that. You know, I've never thought about what I can actually bring a service or product to somebody that they can actually sustain my lifestyle, sustain, you know, my finances and stuff like that. So I never really thought about what I can actually do to actually make money if I wasn't working that job. But, you know, um, you know, I just kept on working and, you know, I finally got to the point where my mental, uh, stability was so bad that, you know, I started going to the doctor and I'm like, man, this job is stressing me out. You know, I don't want to be there no more. You know, and the doctor said, well, you know, we could put you on this prescription. I really didn't want to take it cause I don't want something, um, uh, substance taking over my body like that or my mind like that. But, you know, I talked to him or whatever. He said, well, I'll give you a month off. And, you know, I took that month off and I dashed, door dashed the whole time. And, you know, I was like, man, this is all right, man. I can get up when I want to. I can, you know, uh, do what I want to, however, however long I want to. I can dash whenever, you know. And and it was one of them things I was like, man, this freedom, this freedom, you know, it, it feels good, man. And like I said, Freedom to me is not, you know, just taking off every day or working two hours a day and then, you know, going on these lavish trips or doing whatever I want to do all day long because that's not my thing, man. That's not my priority, man. I, my little freedom is just, to me, it's not just not having to go to a boss and saying, look, I need a day off or I'm sick or I want a vacation. I want to be with my family. Nah, just a freedom to me is like, you know, I can work when I want to work and, you know, you know, I kind of make my own schedule, but I'm still going to work hard regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to do what I got to do to to provide for myself and my family, you know. But uh, just that month off and just knowing that I was on my own time, my own terms, but knowing I still need to be responsible, man, it felt good, man. And uh, like my doctor told me, look, I can cure, try to cure you, but I can't cure your job, man. I can't, I can't, I can't prescribe medicine for your job. So if, you, if it's your job that's making you sick, you need to make a decision on what you want to do, man. And that stuck to me, you know what I'm saying? And I talked to my wife, she didn't agree with me, man. So I was just stuck in a rock and a hard place. Like, what am I do, man? You know, my wife don't want me to quit, but it's my, my mental state that's on the line. And I need to figure something out, man. I don't need to sit here and, and torture myself just for a paycheck and a little bit of benefit. So, you know, long story short, I made that jump, man. I leaped, I leaped, man. I put my, I typed my resignation letter and, and it was hard, man. Cause being so well for 12 years, like I said, I look at the YouTube videos and people saying that, you know, they worked at a job for two years, worked at a job for six months, four years. But you got to think about this, man. I worked at this job for 12 years, man. That's a long time of your life, man. You know, that's half of your adulthood, your working, your working life. You know what I'm saying? So I had, a, I had a lot of things I had to think about. But one thing, good thing about it, though, you know, I did have retirement. I had money saved up. I had money in my retirement account. So I figured, you know, I moved that to my IRA. So I feel like, you know, well, I will have some money. You know, I'm not just jump, jumping shit with nothing nothing to fall back on so yeah i said yeah i have a good little chunk of money so you know if this doordash thing don't work out you know or if i haven't figured out what i'm gonna do you know what i'm saying i still got some money until i find something else like i said i'm not afraid of you know working a nine to five job if i had to go back to a nine to five job i will you know it ain't no big deal i've been working since i was 15 a nine to five corporate job so you know it, it's whatever man i go back to a job if things don't work out you know i'm not afraid of a job and jobs if i do want to work a job the next job i work at you know i want to work somewhere i i, I want to work you know that i love that i enjoy that makes me happy you know it fulfills me you know and um like i said uh one thing about it though you know i quit my job back november back in november 2nd 2020 so i've been and i actually went out october the first so i haven't been in my job for two months so i've been making it. i've been paying my bills man i've been happy you know um 
you know, and I'm trying to start this YouTube thing. I got my channel. I really haven't been posting videos, like I said. So if you can, if you've been watching this video all this time, you're still watching the video now, you know, I thank you for it. I thank you for just, you know, listening to what I got to say. And I can hope, hopefully I can reach somebody that, you know, if you want to quit your job, to get another job, to get another career, to start your business, to, to do a gig app, or whatever that makes you happy, man. Whatever that give you whatever freedom that you're looking for, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do it, man, because your mind and your body is 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 just it's just you only get it one time, man. And like I said, you know, I mean if I can do it, you can do it, man. It's one of them things where, you know, it just, you know, you just gotta realize that, you know, life is short, you know, you got life is short and you know, you want to make the best out of it, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you, you don't, it's some things you don't want to miss out on, some things, you know, you might have to miss out on, but, you know, just be happy and do what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I, I watch a lot of Vlogmas. I watch a lot of, you know, day in the life and what people do every day. And, and, it, and it inspires me because it seems like they're so happy. It seems like, you know, they got a, they got a plan you know, it seems like they, you know, doing exactly how they want to do it. They got structure to their life, man. You know, they don't have to be stuck to a, 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 the same grind every day. You know what I'm saying? Every day can be different for you. Every day can be an adventure. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I, I'm thankful for my job. I thank God for my job that I had for 12 years. You know what I'm saying? Because it did pay my bills. It did provide for my family. You know what I'm saying? But. I'm just thinking about myself now, you know what I'm saying? I want I want just a little freedom, a freedom to, if I want to take a day off, if I want to take a three-day vacation, it ain't got to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It could be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Or if I want to go be with my parents and go and spend some time with them, you know what I'm saying? I can do that without having to ask somebody, without having to, without having to call in sick, you know, calling in sick to say, well, you know, I don't want to, I, I can't come to work, you know, I got, in, in the back of my mind, I want to do something else, but I shouldn't have to go through that, you know what I'm saying, but my wife, she's coming along, she's, you know, she's, she's trying to get behind me and my decision, she kind of want me to get a job, but, you know, she's saying, you know what, Brian, if you're still paying the bills and you still, you know, you're happy and you, you know, you're satisfied and, and we're not lacking anything, then, you know, I'm, I, I'm all, I'm all in for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got a little backup stash of cash, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, um, you know, got a little bit, I got a couple of investments. I got, got a, I got a little portfolio and uh, I got some money in the, my savings account and stuff like that. And like I said, I dash. And when I say I dash, you know, I still go out there and dash eight to 10 hours a day, man. You know what I'm saying? I look some of these, like look at some of y'all videos. You know, y'all do pretty good, man. Y'all dashers out there, they y'all y'all killing it, man. And I made, you know, I were I made pretty good dashing, man. I I, you know, um dash eight to ten hours sometimes. And I dash five or six days a week. So it's not like, you know, I'm just quitting a job so I can lay around, man, because I'm still on my grind, man. But like, you know, I wanna find out some I wanna find out who I am so I can, you know, pursue some other things, you know what I'm saying? Find out what I like to do, find out who I am, find out what's make what makes me happy, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh one of them things where, you know, I'm just going to take it day by day, step by step and let God, you know, and, and let God follow my footsteps, you know, and I, and I pray that everything will be OK. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, uh, you know, 12 years working for the state of South Carolina is over with. But you know what? It's, it's a new journey. It's a new life for me. And I want y'all to take that ride with me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to try to post more and I'm going to try to uh, be a light to you all. I'm going to try to give you all some good content and. You know, and uh, I hope the best for y'all. I hope, I, you know, and, and we can partner, we can we can comment, we can talk, you know what I'm saying? And you can give me some ideas, I can give you some ideas. And, um, you know, but uh, I'm going to end the video right here. You know what I'm saying? I, if you stay to the end, I, I appreciate that. But the ones that stay to the end, we can like, comment, and subscribe. You know, that'll be a blessing. That'll, you know, that'll help me out. That'll get my channel growing. You know what I'm saying? And I just thank y'all. I uh, thank y'all, you know, and we're going we gonna, we gonna to do this thing. But uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace.